Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in on this Saturday night, August 8th, 2020, and about 8.30 p.m. Got an earthquake there coming into the northern California coast there, off the, uh, uh, just south of the Cascadia subduction zone there. A lot of activity to talk about in this region. You can see that uh, 4.6 earthquake showing up rather nicely, and that was also followed up really quickly by a 3.7 uh, just a short time later, I'm talking maybe just about a minute or two later, the 4.6 uh, 4 you can see right there in the red color flag, kind of hard to see, buried behind um, some other activity. And that's the other activity that we need to talk about here this evening. I'm going to switch over here to a, a different view on the map. And uh, there we go. And you can see a lot of activity picking up out here. Uh, just south of the Gorda Escarpment region, uh, right around the Cascadia subduction zone here, the mega thrust uh, area that uh, sits off the Pacific Northwest corner. It extends into Northern California all the way up through uh, parts of Vancouver Island up there off the coast. So a lot of activity, kind of worrisome. Uh, this is my neck of the woods up here. Uh, earlier, earlier, before all this activity popped off here, we did have a 3.6, um, and then that was followed up I'm going to zoom in here real quick here by another earthquake. I have to zoom in a little bit closer, I think, to get that one. Okay, that's the orange circle right there. 3.8. And then following that 3.8, we had this 4.6 that just struck a couple minutes ago. We can, like I said, you can see it on the uh, seismograph stations there. And then that earthquake uh, was quickly followed, followed up by another earthquake, a 3.7 there closer to the triple point junction there in Mendocino, this Mendocino uh, fault system up here. Very uh, complex system here where we run into the Pacific Plate, the North American Plate, and the Juan de Fuca Plate. That's why we call it the triple point uh, junction there. Kind of a lot of pressure built up out there. It all has to do, no doubt, with the uh, Cascadia subduction zone that sits up here to the north. Uh, just a lot of activity, kind of scary out here. Um, I don't like to see that much activity out here, but anyway, it is what it is. I do want to see if this might be a uh, a, um, a false reading. I want to check this out here real quick and see if there's been any reports on it. Uh, looks like it has been reviewed here, so status. Uh, reviewed so that's not a fake or not fake but uh, false reading so that's an actual quake that struck like I mentioned right after right after look at the times there the 4.6 struck at uh, 032337 and then 20 seconds later we see that 3.7 hit in there so uh, interesting activity no reports of anybody filling this 4.6 at least yet um, and it has been confirmed as you can see the historical seismic activity out there are pretty active no doubt but uh, this is just kind of interesting interesting activity folks um, here's another different view on the USG or the uh, Caltech website here they're not showing that uh, that 4.6 that struck. So, but the USGS is that's the main thing. It is uh, it's an official quake, obviously, because it did show up very strongly on the seismogra seismograph stations here. Uh, as soon as this comes up around here, I'll show you guys one more time, and then we'll talk about some other earthquake activity. Uh, Mendocino right here is along the north northern California coastline right around the uh, Eureka or so I'm not seeing that uh, that three-pointer show up there but the 4.6 definitely flatlined the uh, data that's coming in on the seismograph stations there <coughs> excuse me just something to uh, be on guard about you know be alert Cascadia subduction zone once again stretches all the way up here kind of ends up here in Northern California But it does stretch all the way up here through uh, Vancouver Island Pretty complex system here and a lot of uh, potential um, 
possibilities there for you know 9.0 earthquake or greater in this region um, and that's that's a proven fact there 1700 back in 1700 was the last mega thrust earthquake um, 9.0 I believe is what they're guesstimating of course 1700 long time ago right 320 years ago a lot of stress has built up back up in this region here not saying there's going to be a major earthquake but when we see um, some some interesting activity around here it's always good to uh, be on guard and keep your eyes open a lot of activity down here in Southern California as well down here uh, south of the Salton Sea region let's go ahead and flip this back over to the other map here real quick there we go you can see the uh, activity this is the all magnitudes for one day and uh, you can see quite a bit of activity popping up here nothing major down here in Southern California there's a little bit of swarming out here in this area kind of right here where the San Andreas fault system ends and we got the Brawley seismic zone which is kind of like an extension of the San Andreas fault uh, and then down here we got the Imperial fault very sensitive region uh, and when we see a swarm down here at the either at the end or the uh, beginning of a of a fault system it's something to pay attention to um, considering all that activity up north off the coast and now you know with the swarming going on down here it's good to be on guard folks could potentially see uh, something building up here to um, to release some pressure also some quakes up here along the creeping section of the San Andreas fault nothing major just some normal activity i would say um what's those some micro quakes here 2.2 nothing big uh activity in Re uh reno <laughs> in nevada still looking uh pretty active no major quakes to report there we can bring down the uh magnitudes here a little bit so we can get rid of the clutter and this here will only show 2.5 and above it drops off a lot of the uh earthquakes but it's notable uh, to mention the activity that's taking place in Southern California. That's kind of why I included the all magnitude quake map there. But right now, definitely uh, some interesting activity off the coast, Northern California there. Back out of here a little bit. Go ahead and bring back up the globe here and uh yeah there's that 4.6 still showing up there in the 3.7 afterwards globally activity looking pretty dull and pretty quiet if you look if you, if you take a look at the pacific out here i mean alaska still seeing their little bit of earthquake activity but most of this activity is red right you get these red color rings indicating older earthquake activity and after that, there's not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of activity report through the uh, western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire up through Japan. No deep earthquakes, no uh, major activity around Fiji. Just that little cluster of uh, quakes there, the older quakes in the Indonesia Islands area. So dead out here in the west. Very active activity picking up over here in the eastern the Pacific. Be on guard, folks. Could see uh, something pop off tonight. You just never know. Globally, like I said, looking pretty, uh, looking pretty below average. So I can't remember the last time I seen something uh, on the globe looking like this. It's just pretty absent for 24, uh, 24 hours there. So West Coast on target right now. We'll keep an eye on things out here. Uh, these seismograph stations are pretty much scattered throughout the globe there. Um, got one in British Columbia right there. Port Alberni? Burmi? Burmi? Something like that. Uh, and then a station down in Southern California called Barrett. That's kind of down there near San Diego. Uh, also run a station there in Indonesia Islands to keep track of uh, the activity there. And the one I'm kind of watching here tonight, the uh, Chapman Station, Mendocino, California. That's north of um, north of Fort Bragg, right around Eureka, Arcata area in Northern California, along the coast there. Beautiful area, but dangerous when it comes to the potential of a, 
of a mega thrust earthquake out there. And of course, Mammoth Lakes, Long Valley Super Volcano, stationed to monitor, also Mount St. Helens there. Uh, but a lot of stations there are looking pretty quiet, except for the Mendocino one. So we will keep an eye on it, folks. So it's Saturday night. Um, be safe out there. You know, always, you know, these earthquakes can happen anytime. We never know when a big one's going to happen. We can't predict an earthquake out here, folks, okay? Forecasting is just another word as predicting in a way. But when we see a lot of activity in an area um, built up like that along the West Coast um, in, in, in a very sensitive region, it's always good to uh, be on guard, be alert, you know, have an earthquake plan if something should happen if you're out here along the West Coast. I'm talking anywhere from uh, Vancouver Island region all the way down into Northern California. I mean, a lot of activity down there at the southern end of the San Andreas Fault System. We haven't seen that in a while. So, the whole west coast out here should be uh, on alert for a little while. Anyway, have a good night, folks. Please stay safe out there. Um, and we will continue to live stream out here 24-7. So, if you're uh, watching this update video, come on over to live stream here and uh, hang out for a little bit on this Saturday night. Stay safe.